an important conversation about insects as pets. Are you a fan of insects and pets? Do you find it interesting to have different types of pets around? Well, even if you do, I'm sure you've never thought of keeping an insect as a pet, right? Well, it happens, and it's actually pretty popular. Also, it isn't the worst idea. Hey guys, welcome back to Creature Features. And in today's video, we'll talk about what it's like to keep insects as pets. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Bugs are all over. They are, by a long shot, the most widely recognized creatures on our planet. More than 1.5 million different types of bugs have been discovered. That's a lot more than any animal in existence, all things considered. And just like in programming, some might say that these creepy crawlies that have been discovered are just a little part of the bugs that exist. Many are yet to be found. We can discover bugs in pretty much every possible living space. Their size, shape, shading, science and life history are sorted to the point that it makes the investigation of bugs totally captivating. Without bugs, our lives would be completely different. Bugs fertilize a considerable lot of our natural products, blossoms and vegetables. Without these insects, we won't have a lot of produce like nectar, beeswax, silk and a lot of other helpful items. Bugs feed on an apparently perpetual cluster of food varieties. Numerous bugs are omnivorous. That means that they can eat an assortment of food sources including plants, growths, dead creatures, your soul, rotting natural matter and almost anything they experience in their current circumstance. Still, others are experts in their eating routine, which implies they might depend just on one specific plant or even one explicit piece of one specific plant to endure. Numerous bugs are ruthless or parasitic, either on plants or on different bugs or creatures, including individuals. Such bugs are significant in nature to assist with keeping vermin populaces, bugs or weeds, at an average level. We call this the equilibrium of nature, or balance mechanics for our younger audience. Savage and parasitic bugs are truly significant when they assault different creatures or plants that we consider to be vermin. Bugs are vital as essential or optional decomposers. Without bugs to assist break with bringing down and discard squanders, dead creatures and plants would collect in our current circumstance and it would be untidy for sure. In simple words, they do the dirty work so we don't have to. Bugs are undervalued for their job in the food web. They are the sole food hotspot for some creatures of land and water, reptiles, birds and warm-blooded animals. Bugs themselves are reaped and eaten by many different people. That's mostly because bugs are rich in protein, nutrients and minerals and are valued as luxuries in some underdeveloped nations. Indeed, it is hard to track down a bug that isn't eaten in some structure by individuals. Among the most well-known are cicadas, insects, mantises, grubs, caterpillars, crickets, insects, and wasps. Also, bugs make our reality substantially more fascinating. Naturalists determine a lot of fulfillments in watching insects work, honeybees fertilize, or dragonflies watch. Would you be able to envision how dull life would become without having butterflies or lightning scarabs to add intrigue to a scene? Disney movies and romance animes won't be the same without fireflies. Individuals advantage from various perspectives by offering their reality to creepy crawlies. However, sadly, some people still think these bugs are creepy and high maintenance, not helpful. But that's not true. There are many bugs that are great to keep as pets. Let's talk about those. Insects Insect ranches are an intriguing method to keep bugs as pets. As entire provinces are not difficult to keep and intriguing to watch, insects are really low support creatures. The most effortless approach to get insects and start a state is by buying a business subterranean insect ranch. Tarantulas there are more than 1,000 types of tarantulas, 
and some are more forceful than others. Tarantulas are venomous. However, numerous species produce nothing else of a response than a honeybee sting. The level of response will change with the species, the individual, and the measure of toxin infused. There is a risk, notwithstanding, of having an unfavorably susceptible response to the toxin, including anaphylactic shock. Novices should search out a notable easygoing animal variety from a legitimate source. A trustworthy razor will assist you with settling on a suitable species and teach you on appropriate consideration and taking care of. Proprietors should know about the possible risks and liabilities of possessing a venomous pet, yet the perils are generally to the bug. Care is required when taking care of tarantulas, as much for the security of the bug as the proprietor. Indeed, even a brief distance fall can be damaging to a tarantula. And as tarantulas are very touchy, their endeavors to escape to well-being can carry them to hurt. Stick and Leaf Insects this class of bugs is extremely surprising. Depending on disguise as their fundamental protection system, the majority of these phasmids have developed to appear as those sticks, twigs, or leaves. Stick and leaf creepy crawlies should just be dealt with carefully as they are incredibly delicate. When in doubt, these creepy crawlies are genuinely simple to really focus on, replicate well in bondage, and are interesting to watch. Be that as it may, in certain pieces of the world, some are viewed as conceivable horticultural nuisances, hence bringing in unfamiliar species is frequently illegal. Murmuring Cockroaches Even though cockroaches aren't really well liked among humans, even I personally act tough and mighty in front of a cockroach. That is until it starts flying. These murmuring cockroaches are still known for being great pets. These bugs are around 2 inches long and are genuinely durable. So not at all like numerous other land-abiding spineless creatures. They are very simple to deal with. They are likewise extremely simple to really focus on and are one of the lowest upkeep pets accessible. Scorpions Like tarantulas, there are numerous species accessible and the strength of the toxin fluctuates between species. While a few animal groups are exceptionally venomous, the most well-known pet species, the ruler scorpion. Ruler scorpions are a striking blackish shading and are an amazing six creeps long when completely developed. Their toxin has been compared to that of a honeybee or wasp. So, very much like with a honeybee sting, a lethal anaphylactic response to scorpion toxin is consistently a chance. Scorpions are not incredible for taking care of, but rather they are not too hard to really focus on. African Giant Millipedes They don't exactly have thousand legs, as their name suggests. I mean, they only have only 400 on average, but these millipedes are still the really astonishing creatures. Arriving at a length of around 10 inches, most are a dim brown or dark tone. They are not hard to really focus on and can be kept in gatherings. A few animal varieties can be kept as pets. Millipedes do discharge a gentle poison from paws on the body, so hands should be washed in the wake of taking care of them. Certain individuals are more inclined than others to disturbance from this poison. Antlions Otherwise called doodlebugs, antlions are the larval type of a flying bug. Be that as it may, they stay in the larval structure for a few years, and this is a fascinating stage. Antlion hatchling build a cone-formed pit in the sand and cover themselves at the base, trusting that a subterranean insect will fall into their pit. They are not extremely dynamic in any case, however, packs can be purchased for keeping antlions. Imploring Mantids These are extraordinary and effortless-looking bugs that are somewhat simple to keep as long as you can continue to supply them with bugs to eat. Mantids require a genuinely warm territory with a high stickiness level and a consistent stock of live creepy crawlies to chase for food. That brings our video to an end. I hope you liked the video and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Keep an eye out for the creepy crawlies and I'll see you guys the next time.